Hello folks and welcome back to another episode right here on Rev in a Minute brought to you by Jayco Singapore. And in this episode, we'll be breaking down EV acronyms. We got many things to get through, but we'll try to make it in a minute. That's right. And uh, joining us on this very special episode is my co-host Ephraim. Right. So that being said, how about let's hit the road. Let's, let's hit the road right now. Let's go. Hello folks and if you just joined us once again, this is Rev in a minute. No lah, we cannot finish in a minute lah. Really? No, yeah. Okay, anyway, we'll, we'll try our best. Uh, we'll try our <laughs> fastest, okay? <laughs> right. And uh, of course, uh, this episode is specially brought to you by our very good friends from Jayco Singapore. Thank uh, you, Jayco. That's right. Uh, you know, so Jayco decided that, you know, it's about time that somebody did an episode about uh, EV acronyms. Acronyms, You know, yeah. nowadays, got so many, you know, all these alphabets. <laughs> the ABCs of... Ah, uh, uh, people are kind of getting blurred okay. about it. So, so let's uh, get straight into it. Right, okay. Let's so not waste any time. Okay. Uh, let's do HV. The acronym says high voltage. Okay, what so what mean? is high voltage? So this is basically, uh, all of, whatever I'm talking about today is basically related to cars, okay? So we're not, not going to confuse it with house. Uh. Because so high voltage is basically uh, in the car is high power voltage, which is what is the big battery which sits under this car, which powers basically everything from your motors, you know, and all the other high performance items that is inside the car. So anything that could do with needs a lot of high power, that's what high voltage is all about in this EV. High okay. voltage means you touch, you die lah. Ah, like that, la. correct. You don't okay. wanna, so you don't want to be messing with yeah, the cables in the car lah. I okay. think everybody got the message. Right. How about low voltage? Okay, so low voltage, you know, it's basically the power that powers your little devices in the car. From your Bluetooth device, you know, when you yeah. sometimes, also your all these uh, auxiliary inputs that you have in your car. La. So low voltage supplies that little power to actually charge all your mobile devices. Okay, got it. Let's, Let's move on. Let's move yeah. on. Okay, we next got one, no next time one. really. Okay, state okay, of okay. health. Okay, so state of health basically it gives you an idea about you know the how your the life of your battery is lah. You know, so example, if you buy a brand new battery, I mean, you just bought your car, your car, your battery is 100%, which means I am powerful. All right. So after a couple of years, you know, it kind of runs down. You know, like you. When you like your la, iPhone or uh, your same Samsung thing, battery, right? yeah. so car gets older, uh, so things get older. You know, the state of health actually drops down now. So the minute it drops down, you know, it's time to get it changed. All right, enough, can, yeah. can. enough. Okay. So state of charge. Okay, so state of charge is uh, also once again uh, kind of related to state of health, but state of charge is different because state of charge basically tells you how much of power you have left in your battery. So example, hundred percent. Let's go to Malaysia. All right, let's go. Okay, but we go start to fifty. Uh, still good. We still can do a bit of shopping. We go to Tuas. Uh, to us get okay, but once it hits like uh, 20%, you know, saying okay, I think uh, or 5%, it's time to get charged because you don't want to be stuck in the middle of the road, uh, kind of drive with no power in the car. Very okay? good, yeah, you see, good enough, good enough. Yes, 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 all right. Let's so, what's the next one, bro? BMS, the battery management system. Okay, so the battery management system is like the teacher or the principal watching over your battery. <laughs> well, uh, you know, I've got to relate it to people. Uh, so I've got to relate it to things that people can understand. Yeah. So the battery management basically uh, kind of has an overview of your battery's health. Uh, how your things like your voltage, how, what the temperature is, and also like you know, it's like a hawk. So yeah. anything that happens to your battery, you'll tell you, hey bro, something wrong with your battery. Oh. So that's what the battery management system oh. really does basically. Oh, uh. Very good explanation. Thank you, thank you, okay, thank you, let's thank you. go on. Okay. okay, onboard charger. Okay, so the onboard charger is uh, similar to the your principal, but it's more like the vice principal. Uh. So this guy actually takes care of your battery because you know you charge your battery, right? Mm -hmm. uh, you get a lot of power going into your battery. So you don't want to kind of like the go power go direct to your battery. So it has to be something has to kind of like be the middleman lah to make sure that the goes in slowly, you know, like handphone lah. Assistant lah. Ah, you know, assistant. something like that. Exactly. Lah. So it kind of like make sure that your battery doesn't overcharge too fast. Okay, what's okay. next, bro? Next so next is EVSE. EV supply equipment. Okay, so that's just like a fancy name for your house charger. You know when you buy a car, they actually provide you a house charger, you know? Okay. House charger? Where well, you can actually charge your car at home lah. Wow, that's convenient lah. Huh? Exactly convenient. But, okay, but that being said, that is only, uh, it only provides you like slow charging. Which okay. means that, you know, it overnight charging uh, lah. But you stay in HDB, cannot lah. Ah, uh, HDB cannot lah. I mean, uh, HDB has charges as well lah. So you can actually yeah, do, yeah, do, yeah, do, yeah, do yeah, charging no, as well. No, no, very convenient. Right, so this lah. Okay. Oh, that one also slow charger. Slow charger, also slow oh, charger okay, as well. Okay, okay, okay. The next is DCFC. DC, oh, fast right, charging. Okay, this is my favorite topic, uh, fast charging. So in Singapore, there's basically two types of chargers. Fast charger and slow charger. Slow charger, I'll tell you later. So fast charger basically is uh, anything from 70 kilowatts and above, which means that you plug your car in, you go for a cup of coffee, all right, uh, and you see your battery at 10%, you can actually do it within like maybe an hour or less. Wow, it's not like Hussein Bolt of charging. All right. Oh, this All guy right. is AC excellent. AC slow charging. Type okay. 2. What AC, AC slow charging. Type 2. So basically nowadays, all the charges are type 2. Lah. 
So basically, uh, what I do when you when you do solar charging uh, is it's basically uh, kilowatts from seven kilowatts to maybe ten or something. Uh, so this okay. is what you mean by solar charging, which means that if you plug your car in, uh, uh example, your car at ten percent, uh, uh. it's going to take you maybe eight hours to get charged. <laughs> I mean, overnight charging. Overnight uh, charging. Okay, okay so, so, so that's what we is. move on to yes. kilowatt. It's okay, rating. So, right? kilowatt is the rating uh, which basically how fast you can charge. Lah. So, the example, as I mentioned, so mm. the higher the kilowatt, which means that you can actually charge a lot faster. Mm -hmm. So, 50 kilowatts means uh, I still got time to learn Mandarin. Uh, uh, 150 kilowatt, which means that it's really, really fast. So, talk about really fast charging. All okay, right. Okay, then what is kilowatt hour? Oh, so, kilowatt hour, oh, so basically, uh, when you buy a car, the battery when you buy in a car has different ratings, has different power charges. Lah. So some cars come in 60, which means it's good enough for like, city driving. But those high performance cars, which means that they want more power, bigger battery, because they got more high power motor, they need a more powerful battery. Mm. So in other words, the bigger the number, uh, you know, it also can equate to sometimes a better range, bigger equipment. Uh. The bigger the number, the more expensive. The uh. more expensive, which means also give you more range. Kind of gives you that idea. La. Get what you pay for. La, uh, exactly. <laughs> All right. So okay, let's move on to uh. lithium ion phosphate. Okay, so that once again, uh, this is once again talking about batteries. Okay. This different kind of batteries. So this is just one of the batteries that's available. And this one is actually ideal for Singapore because uh, it, it really loves heat. So it, it, it's, uh, it loves heat in the sense that it can actually perform better in, in, in a climate like Singapore, for example. Wow, uh, you know, perfect where, for weather. Uh, exactly. So it's awesome. humid and then you get a lot of sun. So uh, hot countries would actually would actually benefit from having a battery like this. Okay. Ken, Ken, all right. Next so one. NCM battery. Nickel. Cobalt. Okay. So this, are really, uh, so this is basically uh, another form of battery but high performance ones. And this and these kind of batteries are actually used in, in high performance cars or you know those hyper sports cars where you know they go like crazy speeds. So they need they need a big battery that can actually can actually power the motors lah. Like so, those are used in Formula E. Eh? Ah well, brother, you are really coming with all these terms. I also quite blur <laughs> something. Like, okay, uh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I think everybody okay. knows what is Formula E and how okay. fast they can go. Impressive. Okay, that's okay, that's okay. That's enough, that's enough for this. Uh. CPO. <laughs> Not CT3, not CTPO, <laughs> charge point of Okay, so once again, very simple. These are basically all the charging vendors in Singapore, like, uh. you know, like Sembawang and uh, Singapore Power and also Shell. All these are all basically, these are the guys oh, that provide oh, you with chargers. Okay, okay, okay. The companies that uh, you can go to to charge. Uh, you see, la, you, you, this guy, he's always coming with all these fantastic oh. new terms. Okay, yes. Okay, next yeah. we, SE. SE means sales, sales executive. All right, uh, this one is basically... Uh, the term this basically not the uh, EV term uh, one. But then you know you go showroom for sales. Ah, yeah, so yeah, I have yeah. to explain. So okay, basically okay. this is is basically similar to all your shopping executives, uh, sales assistants. Uh, uh, so when you go down there, they will be the guys that come and say, hey, hello sir, you know, can I introduce you to Jayco has the best. Right. S E S. Yes, you must the world. Yes, and we'll be checking them out later. <laughs> la. So okay. when you go and they will actually tell you they'll be as give you as much information about the car before you actually go for test drive. Okay. Alright, okay. And then the next one is ah. also another non EV related, but uh, no. let's do it. Okay. S A. Okay, so service so, advisor. Okay, so service advisor, yeah, uh, it's basically the guy that you know when you're sending your car for servicing, right? Mm -hmm. So he'll be the guy saying, Okay, sir, how can I help you? You know, uh, what's wrong with your car? Then you say, Okay, I wanna do a whole work, I wanna do a whole overhaul or, so he basically finds out what you want and gives you advice la, or whether or not you actually you know need to do it or not. La. So that's he's, he's the middleman before you go to the mechanic basically. He's the in-house JQ uh, guru la. Ah, ah brother, the one. you uh, come here with okay yes 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 next okay and I, so I think that's about it. Really? We that, can wrap up let uh, I think we go back to the JQ uh, showroom. No kidding okay yeah so basically and that check kind out of, more JQ cars. Right so that kind of wraps up our you know our acronyms and as as he mentioned let's now get on to the showroom. See you there. Well, folks, that wraps up our episode right here of Rev in a Minute, brought to you by Jayco Singapore. I'm pretty sure it took more than a minute. Well, I'm very sure as well. We want to say a big revolution. Thank you to our friends from Jayco Singapore for making this episode possible. To find out more about Jayco and all the fabulous range of vehicles that they have, do remember to check out their showroom right here at Ubi. On behalf of myself, Renee, and I'm EVG. We want to say a big revolution. Thank you and signing off. Bye.